and welcome back to the Joe's Hungry Channel, homegrown, filmed, and produced right here in the city of Fairmount, Georgia. It is a special shout out time. Charlie, Penguin, thank you. I love you, man. Everybody that came with him, I love you too. With all that out of the way, it's time to move on to today's limited time offer, food review. Which brings us to Captain D's Southern style fish tenders. This is only one part of a three item menu edition, which consists of Southern style fish tenders for $6.99, a seafood trio for $7.99, and a 10 piece butterfly shrimp for another $7.99 before taxes in Georgia. None of these platters come with a drink. Is this a good deal? We won't know until later in the video when we do the Joe's Hungry Weight Test. The Southern Style Fish Tenders consist of four Southern Style Hand Breaded Fish Tenders, your choice of two sides, I got broccoli and fries, mostly because it matches the ad photo, and the two obligatory hush puppies. Each serving, which includes four pieces of fish, not including fries, weighs in at 440 calories. If you add in fries and broccoli, it runs your total caloric intake up to 800 calories. And there's a little tidbit about Captain D's that I think you need to know. Captain D's chain is made up of franchise locations and company stores. The local franchise locations are normally managed and operated by a local operator and tend to be a lot better. And the company stores, in my experience, tend to fall well short. With that in mind, let's head over to my favorite franchise location in Jasper, Georgia. Calling a cat these, what would you like tonight? I need uh, two southern style fish tender orders. Fries and coleslaw or something different? I want fries and broccoli. Fries and broccoli on both of them? Yes, ma'am. Anything to drink? That's it. $14.96, thank you. Thank you. I've got my southern style fish. Let's pull off to the side and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Southern style fish number one weighs in at a whopping 203.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Southern style fish number two comes in at a mouth burning 199.6 degrees Fahrenheit. If there was any doubt that these things were not cooked to order, it should be gone without any question. You smash the Joe is hungry temperature test. Now that we've empirically determined that these things were cooked to order, cooked fresh, I really didn't have any doubt that they would. Now it's time to take a deeper dive and do the Joe is hungry weight test. Southern style fish tenders number one weigh in at 11.90 ounces. Southern style fish tenders number two weigh in at 11.95 ounces. How do they get them that close? I don't know, maybe they're magic, but with that, they win the Joe is Hungry consistency weight test. You add both those together, average them out, do the math, and you come up with a pretty reasonable 58 cents an ounce. Now it's time once again for the Joe is Hungry big reveal. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is the physical evidence, and this is what it is supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like. We saw how much it was, which as you all well know, only leaves one more test, and that would be the Joe is Hungry Bite Test. So it is Bite Test Engage. Do you remember when we first met? I thought my eyes would fall straight out of my head. Guess we all live in proof of love at first sight. But now we both see love in a different light. For the best 
Captain D's eating experience, I would definitely recommend eating them in the parking lot or going in the dining area to get them exactly hot and fresh to where they nearly burn your mouth. In spite of that, these things survived the 30 minute trip home rather well in my heated carrying case. The hush puppies are still crispy and have a nice deep, rich cooked flavor. They're one of my favorite things when I go to Captain D's. Even the fries survived the trip back relatively intact. The fish is flaky and real. The breading adds a nice mild flavor. The steamed broccoli, more than likely microwaved, is crispy and not overdone. The only criticism I could level against this is it might be a shade on the dry side. Nothing that tartar sauce doesn't fix. Now it's time to give this thing a score. If you don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved. Five and down is a roller coaster ride to the pits of food hell. So let's give these bad boys the number that they truly deserve. This is tough. <clears throat> We're gonna give it a 7.9. That is a very good score. This is a very good deal. That is my number and that is my review. And hopefully we'll keep seeing you in the next videos.